Good morning, everyone. My name is Katie Jenkins, and I'm a PhD student in the Materials Science program. The title of my talk today is Aligning Carbon Nanotubes for Your Electronics, as easy as floating logs down a river. If I asked everyone in this room what's one thing that they would want to change or improve about their cell phone or their laptop, I'm guessing many of you would say faster performance. Or maybe you'd like not having to charge your device as often. Or maybe you would like your device to be flexible or stretchable so that it could be integrated directly into your clothing, or it could be folded like a handkerchief to store in your pocket. All of these improvements can be made possible with one material, carbon nanotubes. A carbon nanotube looks like a sheet of chicken wire that is rolled into a cylinder, except it is 50,000 times thinner than a human hair, and it is stronger than steel. Carbon nanotubes also transport heat and electrical charges faster than nearly every other material, which enables the speed, energy efficiency, and durability required for cell phones, laptops, and supercomputers. This amazing promise of carbon nanotubes over currently used materials has been known for over 25 years. So why don't all of our cell phones and laptops take advantage of and use carbon nanotubes yet? is that there is a lack of techniques to align carbon nanotubes. Alignment is vital because the amazing electrical properties of this material can really only be exploited when this material is oriented in a single direction. This historical and long-standing roadblock has plagued the electronics industry for decades. This is where my work comes in. I focus on developing new processes for aligning carbon nanotubes in order to overcome this challenge. Among several techniques I've developed, one of the most promising is similar to floating logs down a river. Initially, the logs might be at all angles across the river, but as they travel down the river, they will begin to align with the direction of flow. This is for two reasons. First, the flowing river acts on the logs with a shear force that serves to push and try and align the logs with the direction of flow. But second, the logs are already pre-confined on the surface of the river because they're floating. This makes it much easier for the logs to be aligned. I use these same principles to align carbon nanotubes. The nanotubes are first trapped at an interface between water and another liquid. And I then use directed fluid flow, just like a river, to align carbon nanotubes across any surface, such as those used in your devices. Currently, I am working on integrating these aligned carbon nanotubes into transistors, which are essentially very tiny on-off switches that are the basis for all of your modern electronics. Ultimately, my dream is that all of your electronics will one day integrate aligned carbon nanotubes, enabling you to use your devices for much longer, to waste less time waiting for programs to load, and to use your devices in ways that are currently not possible, like flexible or stretchable electronics, or in ways that have yet to be imagined. Thank you.